Hello Transformation and today's video we're going to do a fall makeup tutorial. I have my primer and I'm going to have my setting spray. So you guys, you know, the first thing to do is always have your lotion, well, your primer, your face primer. Keep your face moisturized, looking good and feeling good as well. That is always the first step of applying your makeup. Now... We're free to get into doing my eyebrows, which is a must. Eyebrows is always a must applying. So I'm using my concealer, Nika K. You guys already know, number 06, Carto. I love this concealer. It matches so well with my skin tone underneath my brows. And I love the softness and the smoothness of this concealer. It's not too thick. It's not too watery. It's just right in the middle. And I'm going to use my Ruby Kisses every, I'm sorry, not every day, <laughs> all day concealer. And this is Cappuccino. So I'm applying that on top of my brows. So it looks very clean and precise and in place. So, and now I'm going to use my Ruby Kisses um, oil free setting spray. So when I do apply my concealer, I don't look like I'm sweating. You know, mostly the water-based concealers, you know, it have a, a shine to it. So it won't make you look greasy or like you're sweating. So this helps control the sweat. So if you do have problems of with your makeup, it look very shiny, please buy the Ruby Kisses oil free. They have one with oil and then you don't have one with oil. So the black one is the one I use. So I blend in the top and I'm going to go underneath my eyebrows to blend in that concealer. So after that, I'm going to start applying my eyeshadow. Now I'm going to be using Ruby Kisses Madagascar Forest eyeshadow palette. I'm using the color dark brown and the reddish orange color, I'm mixing two of those colors. And I'm going to apply them towards the end of my eye and I'm going to just blend in a circular motion. And then I'm going to do the same thing again, but I'm just going to add more of the reddish brown color with the brown because I'm trying to make it show a little bit more and also not make it too harsh because I know fall is most like reddish brown and yellow, goldish colors. So I wanted to make sure that you guys see that. So now I'm going to apply another eyeshadow color. And this time I'm going to use, this one's called Leo by Ruby Kisses. So I'm going to have a little shimmer. So I'm using like this solid gold color. So I'm just blending that color in the inner crease of my eye. So I'm just carefully applying. And I'm using my other eyeshadow palette by Ruby Kisses. It's a uh, Wika Beach. I'm sorry if I pronounced the name wrong, but this is the other eyeshadow palette that you guys also love. Um, I'm just using the silver white color. And I'm going to go in back in my Madagascar eyeshadow palette. I'm going to use a color gold in that same like inner corner in the crease of my eye. And I'm just applying a little bit of gold so you guys can see the transition of the colors that I'm using. So I'm just applying a little bit of gold. So now I'm going to take my Ruby Kisses eyeliner marker pen. And this is one of the best eyeliner pens that I have ever had. It's very sharp. And look how sharp it is, you guys. And it goes on very smooth. I don't even have to press hard. It just automatically have a nice, I mean like a nice and smooth pen. So I'm just going back and forth in the inner corner to the outer corner, drawing my wing. So as you guys can see, this is how I look. I'm trying to get the glitter out my lashes, but I was unsuccessful with it, but I have been trying to remove it out my eye. I thought I did, but I didn't. So I'm just going back in the um, outer corner to, you know, finish touches. I want to make sure that everything looks right. So now I'm going to use 
my cappuccino all day everyday concealer i'm going to apply it right underneath my eye and under my wing so as you guys can see it i am just easily applying that You just need a little bit. You don't need a lot. I make it very easy and mostly natural because you don't need a lot of makeup. So I'm going to use my oil-free setting spray again. So because once I blend it in, I don't want it to have a shine. I want it to like it's my skin. So I'm just making sure also my brows are even in, in the middle. And also just clean it up a little bit. Now I'm going to take my sponge. And I'm going to blend from the inner to the outer corner of inner and outer corner of my eye. And I'm going to also go underneath my wing to make sure that the concealer is blended in perfectly. And it looks very nice. So I'm just blending in the makeup perfectly. I'm just blending, blending, blending. And this is the finished look, guys. It was very simple, very easy. It looks natural. Fall makeup inspired. Now I have my duo pencil. I have a bronze and a dark brown. So I'm going to use the bronze under my eye. And then I'm going to use the dark brown like towards the outer of my eye. I'm still trying to remove that glitter, you guys. But I was very unsuccessful once again. I'm going to use the dark brown. And I'm just blending it underneath my eyes. And then now I'm going to go in with my lipstick. My Ruby Kisses as well. This is one of my favorite lipsticks by... It's called... I think this one is named Aphrodite, if I'm not mistaken. And then I'm going to use my Nika K, the Lip Super gloss I put it right on top because I didn't want to be like too harsh I wanted to have like a little reddish a little fun so it's kind of giving more of a little glamour sassy also giving fall look and this is the final look of today fall makeup inspired I hope you guys did enjoy my makeup it was very simple very easy you guys anyone can follow these steps and it looks very natural. It's not too much. And I hope you guys did enjoy. So once again, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. If you want to see more fall makeup looks, get this video up to 100 uh, views. Not subscribers, 100 views. And um, I will see you guys in the next one. And uh, thank you so much for watching. And bye. And don't forget to react to my other videos.